Hi friends, Diana here from Garden Love. Today on New Year's Eve, I just wanted to take a minute to say hello to you guys and wish you guys all an amazing New Year's Eve. I hope that you guys end your New Year's with, well, your New Year with your family and loved ones, spending time with them and appreciating all the good that came with 2020, even though there was a lot of terrible things that happened throughout the years. I hope that there was some good that you guys can reflect on and appreciate and take with you for the year 2021. I am truly grateful to have you guys here on this channel and all the support that you guys constantly give me. I am grateful with you with everything you guys do, like comment, like, share my videos. Uh, you guys help me throughout the year with any ideas that I have. I am so grateful to have you guys here and I want to take that along with 2021. Uh, I want to end this year with a happy note telling you guys thank you and I do have a video coming up sharing what I've been doing the last few days maybe a week or two that's why I haven't posted anything there's been a lot of things happening in the homestead uh, we got a shipping container we got rain some new prepping things that um, we've been doing around the homestead such as setting up a rain barrel now this is not completely set up correctly but this was open right here and we did have a lot of rain come from our gutters so I have to figure out a way to set this up correctly I'm probably going to need more because around the homestead we actually have quite a few gutter sections where the rain falls very very well and I put this after the big big storm it just when it was drizzling I think the second day was drizzling not big up uh, not a, it wasn't a big storm like the day before and it still managed to get full so I'm very impressed with that I'm going to try to look into containers that are much bigger than this so I can put them in the workshop I'm gonna put gutters along the workshop and put some containers back there if you guys have any links suggestions please leave it in the comments down below send me an email or message me on Instagram because I would like to get bigger containers that can store a lot more water so I can save enough during our raining season which is very very short and hopefully use that for my garden that I plan on doing up on that hill so yes guys um, I did want to give you guys a tip for the rain in case you guys are somewhere where you guys are going to be getting more rain for, don't forget to turn off your sprinklers that's a big tip that I meant to do while it was raining just didn't get a chance um, to do it I know it's very common very simple but yet sometimes we forget including myself so if it's raining in your area don't forget to turn off your sprinklers and give it a day or two after the rain to turn them back on because there should be some reserves in the soil for the um, the water in the soil another thing really quick since i'm giving you a, giving you guys a quick rundown on what's going on i brought my two limes my key limes my husband helped me put them in this little gorilla cart and bring them over here because my goal is to put them along this hillside i started digging a hole kind of where i want them to go i noticed that even though it rained the soil is very hard here it feels like there's rocks under there so i'm going to have to um dig a little bit at a time or find a better way maybe build a two by two by two little block and make that like a little planner in each one of these the reason why i chose them here is because from my kitchen window the perfect frame around the window if you look from my kitchen this right here the first room is my living room then it's kind of like the entrance room and then right behind that is a kitchen you can kind of see that last window that's my kitchen window all the way in the back when you sit there and eat you can look out that window and what i want it's a beautiful view of all greens right here so i want to put these key limes here because it would also be an easy access to come and get a lime usually when we have snacks we use limes and it would be wonderful to come and get them not to mention it would also give me a little bit more of a privacy wall as you can see there is a house a couple feet away from us so i would like to create a little bit more of a privacy wall and just make it a little bit more pretty and green so far the previous owners did an amazing job creating the privacy wall here and creating another layer here i want to add another layer here and maybe put some lavender in between 
So I have tons of ideas, guys, and I'm slowly getting started now that I've had a minute to settle into the property and just kind of like look around every day and get ideas of where I want things. These trees have been in pot, have been in my pots sitting all the way by the workshop and they haven't been getting that much sun. That's why you're seeing all of these little branches without any leaves. There's tons of key limes that I've been picking at and using. So it's been it's been quite a trooper you guys know that i'm using all my mulch from my oak trees i'm using the leaves and putting them on my trees i gotta be careful because the leaves from the oak trees they have some little spikes which is it's ouchy <laughs> it hurts so i gotta be careful but i also don't want these leaves sitting on next to the trunk of my my tree because you guys know that would give it trunk rot and would eventually kill your tree so just keep an eye for that as you guys can see all the trees that i have aligned here have mulch i tr i have to come and get all this mulch out of here and put it somewhere useful such as there and if for some reason i can't dig up there i'm just gonna lower it lower the trees and just continue this line of trees coming along this way just so it can look beautiful and reachable ideally i would like them a little bit up higher so that's where i'm at guys so i hope like i mentioned you guys are having a blessed blessed day you guys are with family your health is is doing well you guys are staying safe at home doing productive things and i want to wish you guys all the very best for the upcoming year it's been a rough 2021 but i know it's going to be a better one for 20 i'm sorry it's been a rough 2020 it's going to be a better 2021 we have to just move forward with the right mindset and be productive we are we have all involved involved into amazing people and i know that if we have the right mentality to move forward we are going to do great in 2021 no matter what comes our way no matter what's happening we just have to prepare and start working hard towards what we need to do to adjust to the new changes that life has brought us guys like i keep mentioning thank you guys so much for being here i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you in the next one